President Joe Biden and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky both made impassioned pleas to the United Nations General Assembly. They urged world leaders to continue support for the war-torn country. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has more. We have to stand up to this naked aggression today and deter other would-be aggressors tomorrow. In an impassioned speech, President Biden urged world leaders to stay united behind Ukraine, warning of dire consequences if Russia's aggression goes unchecked. If we abandon the core principles of the United States to appease an aggressor, can any member state in this body feel confident that they are protected? With growing calls in the U.S. and abroad to withhold additional aid to Ukraine, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky appearing in person this year to warn other leaders Russia could target them next. The goal of the present war against Ukraine is to turn our land, our people, our lives, our resources into a weapon against you, against the international rules-based order. Today at the U.N. Security Council, Zelensky will present his peace plan, calling for a full Russian withdrawal and payment of reparations to rebuild his devastated country. Tomorrow, Zelensky will travel to Washington to meet with President Biden at the White House and plead with Congress to continue its military support. But Republicans are deeply divided over the Biden administration's request for an additional $24 billion for Ukraine. Where's the accountability on the money we already spent? What is the plan for victory? But the consequences of pulling the plug on Ukraine are enormous. It will lead to more war, not less. It comes as the U.S. unveils a new round of sanctions on Iran, targeting the production of Iranian drones used by Russia against Ukraine. One day after the U.S. sanctioned Iran's former president and other Iranian officials for imprisoning Americans, including the five detainees freed Tuesday, who returned to an emotional homecoming after years of captivity. We've been apart for eight years and finally we're together and it's uh, just completely unbelievable. Andrea Mitchell reporting.